Let's take a look now at how we can use some of these features that we've learned and a few new ones to start to add some complexity to this model. Now this model's got a lot going on. Uh, there's a lot of subtools. If I turn solo mode on, which is a feature that just allows you to view just one subtool at a time, you can see all the different parts here. So it's quite broken up, hacked together. And uh, we're going to select the uh, chest area, the ar top of his armor, and focus in on just this little area here where we're going to paint in or sculpt in some louvers. First, we need to take a look at uh, a new feature within ZBrush in the alpha palette H tiles and V tiles. Let's take a look at these on a poly plane. Now if I have the standard brush selected, I'm going to come in, select say alpha 28. Let's just return them to normal. And as I stroke along the surface, you can see it's pretty simple. We might, might want to make sure we have roll on so that we can make a tileable stroke. If we come into V tile, set this to 6, watch what happens. We take what was just a really simple alpha and now we're starting to add some nice complexity to it. We can also come into H tiles, tile that twice, and now we have some really nice complexity. We're probably going to want to come into the brush palette. We're going to want to set size all the way. And uh, we may as well set Z intensity all the way so that there's just no variation whatsoever. Also, set your focal shift to negative 100 and really lower that Z intensity. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now what we want to do is take a look at another feature, one that we haven't quite looked at. And we're going to see how we can take this alpha that's here and then just tilt this into, uh, into the stroke. In the brush palette, we're going to go into uh, modifiers. We're going to take tilt. And let's just increase this to 30. You can sort of see what it's doing. It's starting to take these this alpha and starting to tilt it forward. But unless you knew what you were looking for, you wouldn't really see it. Let's increase this to 50. And now you'll see it. So that alpha is completely rotated and twisted, which is really helping us create this really nice louvered quality. Now, one of the problems we're having is that the brush is really sensitive to the directional changes. So as I brush along the surface like this, it just flip-flops back and forth too much. So we need to stabilize that. I'm going to stabilize that in the samples. Stabilize direction. Set that really close to 100. So that's going to do a pretty good job. You may also want to try stabilizing orientation. And I think we're about ready. So now we're going to close the tool, uh, that palette. Let's select the armor top. And let's make sure we have masked this area off. So I'm going to press and hold control. And uh, I'm just going to paint one real quick. Control click to invert. Remember, you can always go into masking and turn view mask off so that you don't see it. We're going to increase our draw size. Make sure our Z intensity is on the low side. 
and you may want to turn symmetry off. Okay, go in the wrong direction, but that's the path we're looking for. And we're going to increase the size. And in this case, I think we would be better suited H tile set to 1. Real quick, real easy. Now we will come into the area here where it's a little messy. Switch ourselves over to smooth directional. Press and hold shift and just smooth along that stroke. That's going to avoid doing any damage. Turn uh, the clay brush on and symmetry back on. Or better yet, H polish. I'm going to press and hold Alt. And uh, actually, we need to clear the mask. And now I'm pressing Alt with H, direction, H uh, polish. And it's building that nice clean plane. Let go of Alt, and it'll just subtract that down. And again, go over all the other areas here. And we've really quickly created a louver brush, something that can work quite well in areas uh, like the back here or if we wanted to add louvers anywhere else on this model. Now, once we've created that brush, let's go back in to selecting it. I had it set up so that it was pulling from the standard brush. We can save this by cloning the brush and just pressing save as. Save that in our Z startup or just save it to the drive and then we'll have a louver brush to be used from this point forward.